Happy fishing, uh, YouTube. Just wanted to uh, come to you from the sinker guy again. And what you're gonna learn today is how to build rigs using Czechoslovakian glass beads and the famous, up here in the Northeast, Bruno rig today. Enjoy, watch, you're gonna learn a lot. Well, here's just a little bit. This is my everyday travel. Um, uh, taken to the beach every day. Just have a lot of different uh, views of what uh, could be if it's glow beads to big beads to small beads to to the, my Bruno rig beads to the bigger float to the old infamous black bead. A lot of people, old guys all know about the black bead, but uh, a lot of these are um, do some research on what colors actually show up deep in water. Um, and what they do and uh, I like <clears throat> I like the float beads and then I also like uh, glass beads uh, and these, this is my favorite glass bead and you can kind of see it but they're kind of in they got a purple inside it's like that I like these sparkling white ones also um, but that's uh, that's the glass bead okay we're gonna start talk, talking about uh, tying your own rigs we're using a rig board. If you need a rig board, just uh, reach out to me on thesinkerguy.com. Um, a little information, I do I do make these. It's pretty simple to uh, to use. But uh, uh, one of the big things is uh, never skimp on, never, never skimp on good uh, swivels and snap swivels. So uh, that is going to be what is the lifeline of being able to catch fish. So I use this, uh, uh, tsunami terminal tackle size 200 pound for my uh, for the barrel swivel on the side so you kind of know that and then got the tsunami number four 75 pound test which I, I used a hundred or the 75 pound test uh, the only reason you'd use smaller is just to uh, eliminate the ability to have the fish see, see them so that's a little bit of information there so First thing I do is I, I I start with the top end. So a lot of different ways to tie. I'm gonna go seven turns here, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm gonna go back through the, the loop and back through the eye. And you can see that, and I'm just going to pull it tight. Pretty simple there. Um, I'm not gonna cut the tag end yet, but I will here in just a second. I've got my rig board here, so I've got uh, little clip here I'm gonna go around I'm gonna make a four inch drop I have a four inch and a five inch drop um, four inch seems to be uh, adequate for the whiting and the pompano uh, so I'm just gonna lick my fingers lick that line right there I'm gonna go one two three four five and six and got that to pop off there I'm going to stick my fingers through, grab the line, pull it through, and I'm just going to pull that together. And you see that there. Now, I'm going to take that, put it right over here. I'm going to go the same, I'm going to do the exact same thing. Now, there's, I'm going to lick my fingers, and once again, six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Stick my fingers through. Grab a hold it and pull it nice and tight. Now at that point is I'm gonna take to the end and this is where my measurement, uh, everybody else is if you want a little shorter uh, from your swivel to the end, you can do that. Uh, I like this, this spot myself. So with that being said, I cut it a little bit longer and I'm going to then tip, put my barrel swivel on. So, so I'm gonna one, two, three, four, five six seven through and through it's better to pull the tag end uh, at the end to get her tight but you want to make sure that it's tight so now I'm just going to cut these off pretty simple I have the makings of any type of rig that you would like any colors that you would like now at this point is I, I want to make a uh, I want to choose my beads. I've got the bottom. Obviously, that's pretty long, if you can see that. 
if you're watching this video that might be why I don't catch very many catfish but um, I'm just going to uh, make the old Bruno rig and I choose I choose pill floats just because I like the pill float uh, myself but it's not required you I have these cutlass floats then they're really they work good too um, and then I, I love the, the uh, checklist flocking glass beads I get at Michaels too so um, and if you watch this video you'll see at the beginning of it that with my favorite one so uh, orange is an attractant for redfish so I'm going to push that through there and one of the big things is making it naturally display and as you can see this goes this way so I'm going to use the Eagle Claw 197 it's, it's my preference of uh, hooks for my bait so I'm going to go through and then I'm going to and look at that it actually presents like a real bait if, it, if this was pink it would look like a shrimp um, the only thing I can tell you is if if you're making that and you're fishing a lot of weedy conditions and you still want to fish go ahead and just pull that off and flip it around so it's like this uh, so then we put the the top one on very simple push that through there look at the display and make it look like bait look like something that's going to actually protect itself through boom and very simple very easy and to if you're gonna make up a bunch of these it's pretty easy just put the hooks together put the nail put the knots together flip it over pull it and you're gonna be able to just it's gonna naturally fit just right there for you where you can grab it all and then grab and grab and that goes into a nice bag for my personal ones and then I can take these to the beach and remember uh, keep reusing these bags not wanting to let them go on the beach trying to protect the environment so uh, but it is it is an easy way to store your rigs and it also if your stuff gets wet one day I just get the ones that seal and push that in there and then I just made the Bruno rig and, and with the best terminal tackle and the best hooks and some of the best floats that you can get. But now I'm ready. If I get bit off, I can just throw another one off. Not going to tie another rig, uh, but I have one already pre-tied. Why don't we just show you uh, one using glass beads. And we think about colors and we think about matching the hatch and things like that. Well, I'm going to use these purple beads because they're my favorite. Um, when I'm fishing clams, salted fresh uh, for the frozen clams and I'm gonna just show you what I what I like so uh, if I'm if I'm trying to minimize how much I actually have uh, out there then I'm gonna use two but sometimes uh, sound makes it a lot better but any noise is actually an attractant too so I'm gonna put three three beads on today and then what I'm gonna do is is make it display like a for the best best presentation here and you'll see that there's a lot of coquina out there that uh, so now I have this all presented so well look how beautiful that looks and you put the clam on the end and it's uh, we're looking at the same colors we're making we're now we're making noises and then we also have the scent which is wonderful when we're uh, working on catching those fish so once again, I'm gonna put the second hook on. And I get these once again at uh, Michael's. They're Czechoslovakian glass beads. The plastic beads are great, but what they do is they, in time, just wear out. These glass beads, they're not gonna get eaten up by the fish, and also they're not going to wear out. They're gonna keep their color, uh, which I really enjoy. So when you're sitting at home, over the winter break or when it's raining or it's too windy go ahead and tie some of these up uh, and it makes it a lot easier when you get to the beach to just replace uh, and I'm just gonna bring those together once again pull them here boom pinch it pinch it naturally just goes right in there and I'm gonna stick it in in the bag 
So then I'm just prepping myself for success later. Preparation is the separation that most people don't think about. So uh, if you can prep yourself ready to go, uh, when, when you get bit off by a shark or, or blue fish, uh, then you have this all rock and ready to rock and roll and you just pull it out. Uh, and that makes life a lot easier. So once again, you have the Bruno rig and also uh, my favorite uh, Pompano and Whiting uh, rig with the Czechoslovakian glass beads. This next couple clips are a little bonus information on how to get your bait back in the water the quickest way possible, especially when the Pompano are running. Sea Striker makes these um, these little fast snaps. If you don't have any fast snaps, this makes life a lot easier uh, for us when we're on the beach. And you can actually replace all your gear pretty quickly and get back to fishing uh, if you have these fast snaps. So I use what I call, what my dad used to call a bass fisherman's knot because this is what I tied when I was younger 95% um, of the time because I lost too many fish. So I just go through twice, make a loop, make a loop, you gotta make a loop, go back through. And I'm just gonna pull it tight. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send that back through uh, and anybody that everybody knows this knot, I think, but it's a great knot, uh, one of the strongest knots I enjoy. Uh, so I don't uh, lose any uh, thing on my, any of my uh, rigs. But also, being a, a, a long distance caster, you're going to need a good knot there. So now I have that. That's going to be right now. That's going to be coming off the end of my line. Uh, I put that on backwards. Come on down. So. I'm gonna make that that's sure that's on that is little end is on there so uh, it makes it easier to hook on so now I'm gonna take out my Bruno rig that I just made because I know that I'm just um, I just got bit off I'm going to then grab the end and I'm just going to slide swivel right here boom I go right on there and it's not gonna come off now I'm already set now all I have to do, I'm completely set, is now put my Sputnik sinker on there. Let me grab one real quick. So we've got a little three ounce, which is perfect. Uh, be, I like these uh, these a lot better because it's, they're a lot easier to use. And then boom, and now I'm set. Now I've got my line, and that's how quick it took me to put a whole new uh, uh, rig on and now I'm back to fishing. Now let's put the bait on, let's cast it out. Well, hello from the sinker guy. Just wanted to uh, give you a little recap. Oh, that's bad. I thought it was good. Am I making you nervous being here? Do this. Oh, that's on video. Unique, <laughs> Unique New York. Unique? Unique, you know, New York. <laughs> Unique, New York. Uh, this is the funny parts about doing video. <laughs>